In 2002, a tornado hit the east side of Fort Worth, Texas, devastating an inner city community. Homes, churches, and businesses were hit, and thousands lost power and were left with the rubble and aftermath of destruction. In the hours following the tornado, pastors Orlando Reyes and his wife Joanne heard the loud cry of help from their surrounding community. Overnight, a grassroots outreach program emerged. So who could have ever known that from the disaster of the tornado that the food distribution would happen and out of that would grow the School of Hope and out of that would grow the Smile Center? I mean, we never dreamed that all of this would grow from just responding to a tornado. We don't give handouts at the center. We provide a hand up. Because what happens, those individuals who come to the Hope Center, they're transformed. And that's what, what it's all about, is when we see a transformed life, a changed life, and becoming a productive life again, and that's what brings our joy. Put it in their cars as they drive by. We give food to the customer, to our clients, and our clients then are able to give food out to other people. It's four of us. Four of you. It really takes a lot off of me. Almost through the week it lasts me. That's great. And you, get, and you get fresh produce and meat and, and meat cheeses and, chip, and chips and vegetables. Now that's awesome. Yes, ma'am. I really appreciate the Hope Center. The Hope Center is a real good place to come and be there. Well, I appreciate you coming and sharing the word. You got enough to give away because you got more than enough, that's yes, for sure. Yes, ma'am. Lord bless. Thank you. You too. Okay. The biggest need that people in poverty have is significance. They don't feel important to anybody. Around 90% of our volunteers or our clients, they have something to give. And because they have something to give, they become significant. They're part of us. They've owned this organization. We are the Hope Center. We're part of this community, and they are part of us, and we are now reaching into the community. I'd say this. If you're part of corporate America, and you're looking for a place to plug in and put your funds to great use, you couldn't find a better place than what we're doing because we not only provide the groceries for the people, we provide educational opportunities for them as well as their children. So in building a donation to us, will accomplish all those things for you. Find hunger and feed hope. That's our motto. There you go. The Hope Center Food Distribution Program has grown from those few boxes of food given away during the tornado recovery to over $4.5 million of food distributed last year. In 2017, the Fort Worth Hope Center decided to take their reefer truck and go out into the public housing and low-income apartments to distribute food to some of the neediest families in the city who lacked transportation. Hi, I'm Shauna. Uh, I am the founder, president, and CEO of the Hope Project Prison Group, and we are grateful recipients of food from the food bank here at the Hope Center uh, in Fort Worth. We use our food that we has received from here um, for offenders returning um, from prison and reentering society, and we are able to serve them meals and take that burden off of them. And, um, you know, they say it takes a village, and it's great to be part of this village. Thanks. Greetings, I'm Dale Daniels. I'm with the Metropolitan Dream Center. Executive Director is Margaret James. We want to thank God for the contributions from the Hope Center. It has really been a blessing to our organization. Last year we were able to reach out and uh, with 56,000 pounds and feed a multitude of people. Already this year we have already reached 4,000 people with 30,000. So again, we thank you. We look forward to a long partnership with you guys. Thank you. 1,500 turkeys were given away at Thanksgiving. All in all, nearly 300,000 people last year were given food from the Hope Center. 
A North Texas nonprofit is helping meet the need this Thanksgiving. The Hope Center in Fort Worth handed out free turkeys and all the sides. Take a look. This was the line that formed outside the Fort Worth Hope Center this morning. They spend months working with their commercial partners to collect all the food, and then they bring in dozens of volunteers to line up here outside the center and load it all into these families' cars. It's a blessing to know that we can always come to a church and get some help. Although her family has struggled to make ends meet, this Thanksgiving they'll have plenty of food on the table. One day uh, a lady told me that her Thanksgiving dinner was Vienna sausages. And that really, I think about that every year. It will help us, yes it will, because I was recently working and I'm not anymore. Uh -huh. And my husband is, you know, disabled. Very thankful for it. It really is a blessing to, you know, be able to have somewhere to come that can help during this time because it's all about family. They're giving away free food with turkeys. And it's just a wonderful place to go. We used to cook for families, cook for them to come and eat, but it was so impersonal because many times they were sitting and eating with people that they didn't know. It wasn't interacting with their family, and so we made a commitment. We want to make our families be able to have food at their home, around their table. For organizers and volunteers, feeding the hungry and caring for those in need is more than a job. It's a calling. It feels good to give back. I remember being in a line like this, similar to this as a child, so it feels good to give back. And they tell us there's a very specific reason they like to provide more than enough for these families, especially this time of year. We have a lot of bread, for example. We will give our family 12 loaves of bread so that they're able to give out bread to their neighbors or whatever, or we'll give them extra whatever we have. They'll have something, a lot to give away so that they're part of the giving, not just the receiving, and that's important for Thanksgiving. You know, the Hope Center is what gives not just me, but lots of folks in this world hope that there, there is a God who can provide and will provide. This is a blessing. And I know it's lots of more families feel the same as I. The Lord loves the poor. Yeah. And you put yourself available to, to serve the poor. He wants to serve the poor. He just needs some hands to do it. And that's why the church oh, right. gives each family yeah, I put the whole box in there. much more than it can use. We always give them more than enough so they are givers, and not just receivers. The idea is to get the food to as many people in need as possible. Go get the cakes. Can we give them the pumpkin gurney? That's yeah. the pumpkin. Uh -huh. And to let people who receive the help know. I'm going to get you some stuff. Give them the stuff, kids. They can still help others, too. They gave, the church gave it to me, and I'm serving God to give it. Did I hear, are you the one that's got the job? Yes. When you start? Tuesday. Tuesday. Where are you going to work? Uh, down at Petmate in South Arlington. Oh, that's awesome. You're going to drive the forklift. Uh-huh. You can't tell us about that. You came to our school? Yeah, yeah. I, I came up here uh, back uh, last month and uh, I, <laughs> I took the class for all four forklifts and I uh, got certified and now I'm getting a job. So. <laughs> that's awesome. That's what it's all about. The School of Hope has grown too. It now offers six forklift training courses that are in demand and OSHA certified. I've got all my certifications on all forklifts for, from the OSHA forklift certification course. It's, it's great. Uh, even with a background, it doesn't matter. You're going to get a job. And I thought I wasn't going to. They were impressed and they were relieved that they didn't have to spend the money to train. Yes. Because I'm already trained. This is Ms. Dory Alves from Workforce. And I really appreciated this because it gives them an opportunity to be able to get an in-demand job, a job that's on the demand occupation mm -hmm. list. There are plenty of jobs um, out there that they can be eligible for and it gives them an opportunity to get a start. And so I'm really appreciative for this class. I'm looking forward to referring more of my customers to the class. I encourage the other people in the workforce centers to refer their customers to this class because this is one that's going to work with us. How many years were you in prison? 27. 27 years. Searching for a job was almost, it, it was a job in itself. And not, today it takes 12 months that I've been out of prison. It was just shortly after I 
graduated the class and I interviewed for a job and I had to exhibit my use of the, the sit-down forklift and uh, I did it very efficiently, very safely and in a timely manner and the employer asked me if I could start immediately. They actually have a working warehouse so you're getting hands-on training. I mean, it's just not like sitting in a classroom where you're just reading about it. You're actually doing it. They have all the equipment that you need to, to just get your job done and actually get a certification because you're on all the, the forklifts. So that's another plus about yeah. the Hope Center as well. At Malin, we, we always like to give um, to the community. And, you know, we understand that the Fort Worth Hope Center is finding jobs for families who need them and they need forklift training. So yes. here at Malin, our, our CEO, Scott Shantos, um, and you have been talking and we've decided to present you with a walkie rider. Oh, wow. Pally Jack. Yes. And a order picker. There's a lot of businesses and companies moving into the DFW area and they're needing, obviously, to move product within their warehouse. Right. And uh, in order to operate these things, you need a qualified operator that's certified. And hopefully, through your program, this will allow them to get those certifications they need. Well, this right here means a lot to me because I come from the streets and it's my first time ever in life doing anything. And I just really want to thank you mm -hmm. and thank the Hope Center for letting me mm -hmm. um, get ready to get another part of my life going mm -hmm. with a job and everything. And you know, it's something bigger than the streets out here. Mm -hmm. So I thank y'all very much. Oh, Amen. Yeah. I know this, this is the most positive environment that I've been around in the last eight years. I just came out of prison and I needed something to lift me up and Mr. Kevin Thornton has done that by training me properly and safely and giving me a great attitude to look forward to life. Mm -hmm. I'm really thankful for the School of Hope. No, thank you. Thank hey, you. That's hey, awesome. Hello to you guys out there. This is a great school. It's a great a great learning um, a great learning experience to get your corporate license. So you guys out there here, go get it. Thank All you. Right. The School of Hope recently expanded to include logistics training that trains employees how to track, organize, and ship inventory. It's a rapidly growing field and positions are highly paid and in demand. And that's not all. Xander Staffing, a company that specializes in placing employees in the distribution warehouses, is now a partner with the Hope Center to place graduates of the School of Hope directly into jobs. The Hope Center had great success with the creation of the Smile Center. You may have seen Jeremy Burnett's story, a homeless math genius who volunteered at the Hope Center. His story sparked the creation of the Smile Center, a much needed service. Entry level jobs are often service jobs that depend on appearance. Patients got their smiles back and their lives back. While our founding dentists have had to move on, we are not giving up on this much needed service. The Hope Center, the School of Hope, and the Smile Center. How can you help? Volunteer at the Hope Center's food distribution warehouse. Donate to sponsor a family's needs. We need donations for a new reefer truck, a truck that keeps food at a safe temperature for travel out to low-income apartment and housing projects. The Forklift Training Center needs donors for candidate scholarships. A large percentage of our students get funded by the Texas Workforce Commission. But we need more donors. Your dollars mean a candidate could get a job after two weeks of training. And help bring back the Smile Center. Dentistry is work that is detailed and expensive. But it is so very needed in the populations in which we serve. Your dollars could literally transform lives. from poverty and hopelessness to significance, from significance to success, from success to service. You are not hidden. There's never been a moment you were forgotten. You are not hopeless. 
You have been broken, your innocence stolen. I hear you whisper underneath your breath. I hear your SOS, your SOS. I will send out an army to find you in the middle of the darkest night. It's true. There is no distance It cannot be covered Over and over You're not defenseless I'll be your shelter I'll be your armor I hear 